Hi, my name is Jerry Wise, um, and this video is on the subject of codependency and guilt. Guilt is a very powerful and persistent feeling that a lot of us experience quite often. And I want to give you some helps as to the way to think about codependency and guilt and maybe even how to overcome guilt in your life. I think a lot of behaviors and a lot of uh, our activities are fueled by guilt, particularly those of us who experience codependency. Well, maybe I should first define, well, what is codependency? Codependency is characterized by these symptoms. Your focus is on pleasing others instead of yourself. Your self-esteem is boosted by trying to solve another person's problems. You try to manipulate or to control others out of fear or anxiety, or to bind or resolve your own fear of anxiety, or fear and anxiety. You're more aware of how other fe others feel inside than how you feel inside. You have a fear of rejection. You have constant battles with feelings of abandonment as well as rejection. You value the opinions of others more than your own. You feel good about yourself only when you receive approval from others or are accepted by others. You set aside your own values uh, to feel more connected with another person and you lack healthy boundaries. If you fall into a number of those categories or have a number of those symptoms, then you're probably codependent uh, and you suffer from codependency. Uh, come in and we can talk and, uh, and analyze more about uh, how you might be experiencing codependency and how it affects your life. Codependency is one of the biggest problems I think facing couples and individuals and families today. It is such a common problem. And I think our society also values and promotes codependency and fusion in relationships. That tends to be the norm in our society. In music, in movies, in novels, uh, we see codependency and fusion in relationships as what we should be striving for when actually it only creates and, and causes more problems because of codependency. Again, our society sees codependency as the norm. One of the things that we know about codependency is that codependency is a problem in which a lot of guilt is produced. We are experiencing a lot of guilt, we function out of guilt, a lot of what we do is fueled by guilt. Uh, those of us who grew up in families in which codependency was the norm, we begin to get imprinted with guilt, and that's where guilt begins in our life. Guilt is the feeling resulting from the thinking that you have done something wrong. That is, as opposed to shame, in which, which is about who you are. Guilt is about what you've done. And shame is a whole other topic, and we could spend a whole other video just on shame alone. But this uh, video is about uh, guilt. Actually, there are many types of guilt, and most of us are not aware that there are so many types of guilt, and uh, I believe that recognizing the different types of guilt can really make a difference in helping us understand how guilt plays in our lives and how we can overcome the feelings of guilt uh, in uh, our codependency and in maturing and growing beyond guilt. There uh, are many types of guilt such as societal guilt, spiritual guilt, personal guilt, false guilt, family systems guilt, and here, those are some of the types of guilt uh, that we experience. Some use uh, the terms unhealthy or healthy guilt. It's probably a good 
simple way to think about it, healthy guilt and unhealthy guilt. I'd like to discuss all types of guilt, uh, but I don't think we have time today in this video. But I think it's helpful to maybe think about just healthy and unhealthy guilt. Uh, many of us grew up codependent and we really made no distinctions between healthy or unhealthy guilt. And codependents tend to feel whenever they feel guilt, they should be doing something to resolve those feelings of guilt. If someone asks me to do something and I don't really want to do it, if I say no, I will feel a tremendous amount of guilt, so I go ahead and say yes to resolve and to uh, help me to avoid dealing with those feelings of guilt. And so a lot of behavior and actions occur as a result of um, dealing with a tremendous amount of guilt. Now the problem is I end up overextending myself, I end up saying yes when I should be saying no, but guilt is such a problem I'd almost rather undermine myself or exhaust myself with all the yeses than deal with the guilt that I have if I say no. And that's codependency and that's a common part of codependency. The best book I've ever written on this particular issue of guilt is entitled When I Say No, I Feel Guilty. It's by Manuel Smith and if you get a chance to pick that up it might be useful to read that because I think so many of us identify with that statement when I say no I feel guilty and for those who are codependent that's I kind of uh, use that as a one-line um, uh, inventory or test for codependency do you feel guilty when you say no those who say yes I feel guilty often experience codependency and have problems with that because a part of being mature and a part of growing up is being able to say no without guilt. It doesn't mean we don't want to help other people or that we want to be uh, kind or generous or giving. It's just that we often uh, forget that we need boundaries and it's okay to have boundaries and limitations. I can't say yes to everyone and that's reasonable. But for those of us who are codependent, that's very, very difficult and it takes uh, some real recovery to grow to a point where we can say no without guilt. When I work with codependent folks, I do two things. We work to examine the reality of the feelings of guilt. If an abuse victim feels guilty, uh, then this is unhealthy guilt or false guilt because um, and, and beginning to hear that that you may have unhealthy or false guilt can begin to free the abuse victim for, uh, from their feelings of guilt uh, connected to being abused. In other words, I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I sent the wrong signals to them. They, uh, I, made my, uh, I made my parents mad and that's why my father beat us. You know, we feel guilty for part of that abuse, but that's unhealthy and false guilt. And healing from that is very important so that responsibility can lay exactly where it needs to lay and not with the victim of abuse. Secondly, we work to see if, healthy, if it is healthy guilt in which we need to make amends or forgive ourselves so we can free ourselves from the feeling of guilt. In other words, healthy guilt is the part of guilt is a is a part of the emotional life that we have that might guide us into improving our behavior. So, identifying first is a healthy guilt or unhealthy guilt is very important. When I work with folks, we work to examine the role of feelings uh, that the role of feelings of guilt play in our relationship system in our family of origin as well as our present relationship. Often guilt feelings are the way our relationship system causes reactivity within us so we will maintain the status quo and keep things the same. For example, 
uh, in a very dysfunctional family, let's say an alcoholic family, the alcoholic comes home, says, well, you should have had the um, uh, dinner on the table and it should all be perfect, even though I'm drinking and under-functioning. And the spouse feels guilty for not having it just the way it's supposed to be, but that guilt keeps in place the unhealthy relationship between the spouse and the al alcoholic. So guilt can play a role in keeping things, uh, keeping the status, the unhealthy status quo in a relationship. I want to share with you eight tips on how to handle and deal with your guilt as a codependent. I divide it up into codependent guilt 101 and codependent guilt 201. Guilt 101 involves these type of steps. Recognizing and identifying your feelings of guilt. Second of all, is this healthy, unhealthy, or false guilt? Acknowledge your role in the wrongdoing to yourself or to others. Seek forgiveness, and this includes forgiving yourself, and letting go of the past and moving on. Those steps are very important for resolving guilt. Codependent Guilt 201, Guilt 201, is an emphasis on a family system's thinking about guilt. How did I learn when and under what circumstances to experience guilt or have feelings of guilt? Where did I learn that? How, what kind of pattern did I grow up um, in experiencing guilt? Second of all, how are my feelings of guilt contributing to and keeping the family or relationship system stable? How does my guilt maintain the status quo? Thirdly, what would I be doing differently if I did not have these feelings of guilt? What would I be doing if that guilt wasn't present? And where do I need to go to get support for doing what I would do differently? In gaining insight, into behaving differently, we sometimes need support and others to back us up in making those changes. As an expert in treating codependency and in applying a family systems approach to chemical to codependency, I see many clients find freedom from codependent guilt. This guilt is truly debilitating and it's very paralyzing for many folks who experience it. And I know this from personal experience. I also know from personal experience there's a way to overcome guilt as well. There is no reason for you to be stuck in painful feelings of guilt which keep you struggling to be yourself and keeps you from enjoying life. I hope you'll give me a call at 317-919-6264 also do therapy via Skype and FaceTime, and thanks for listening.